Okay, welcome to this set of videos. Uh, my name is Wayne Lautet. I'm a teacher at Francis Kelsey. And I would like to give you a whole session here on word problems. The only difference is I don't call them word problems. I call them translating problems. And when you are translating from a language to a language, one thing that you always want to have with you is your own little dictionary. Now in this case, it's an English to French dictionary. But what I'm going to show you in the next vi uh, video is how you can have a word problem where you change English into algebra, but you have to have a dictionary. So stay tuned, watch the next video, and see how you can set up your own dictionaries. This is your generic dictionary. At the top, it sees the words added to, sum of, increased by, or translated as plus, subtracted from difference of, etc. is a minus sign. But if it does say 5 less than a number, you have to translate it in reverse. Times multiplied, product of, etc. are all translated as a cross a sign, the brackets, or a dot, or nothing in between, like a 5 x means 5 multiplied by x. The word of, as in half of or 50 of, percent of, is translated as multiply. Divided by a quotient, you can translate as a divide by symbol or a bar and uh, is equals to was etc is all translated with the equal sign and the words total of are translated as I've done with a setup there and you'll see more in the dictionary that comes up in the video that comes up later on